Okay guys, I'm gonna make a quick video of um, how to make a YouTube picture for your uh, YouTube channel. Like I got right here on mine, Mac for Life, and I got like a, like a um, whore brows on the bottom instead of the top. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Alright, I'm gonna do it in Pixelmator. So you wanna open Pixelmator up, go to File, New, and make your width 100. Your half a hundred and make that probably like about a three hundred because you want good resolution on there and like that, like that. Once you did that, you want to make it either a like dark blue or a black. I want to just make it a uh, black for this one, like so. And then after you did that, you want to um, add a new layer. Go to your, your grid right here. You need to make your new grid probably. Make it a. Uh, I don't know. Throw some red in there. Throw a blue. And throw a. Uh, like a pink or something. I mean, you can make it anything really. Uh, you can throw a black in there. You can throw a. Um, mostly anything you really want. I'm going to throw a. Red, uh, and a yellow. I'm gonna do that. So add that in there. Get that, and when you not add anything you really want, and then just go down like that, something like that. And then after you did that, guys, you gonna get your lasso tool, and about right there, towards the middle, right there. And just do that right there. Go down a little bit. And go back around. Let go to edit, inverse, delete, and you got that so far. And then after you did that, you want to add a new layer. Get your brush tool, I mean, not your paintbrush. Make it the smallest layer you can get. And change that to a white. And just add you some stars in there. If you want stars, you really don't have to put stars. And after you did that, what you want to do, you want to go to uh, File, uh, I mean Filter, Tile, and that second one right there. After you did that, it's just going to tile your stars and you push OK. Then you go right here to Filter. You want to select your second layer, your um, rainbow looking thing. Select that, go to Filter, Blur, Zoom. And after you did that, you want to drag this to the bottom right like that. Drag it to the top, actually. And you have something like that. Something like that. Maybe something like, you know, right in that area. Yeah. Filter. Right there and zoom it in something like that guys I mean you can get it back right where you want it push OK and then after you did that get your text tool and make it any really color you want make it yellow go uh, make it tape line and then resize that to like a, uh, I really don't know, like a maybe a 20. Let's see what a 20 looks like. Even smaller, like about a uh, 15. Um, I'd say about a 7. Well, no, about a 16, probably. About like that. And then make it a yellow. Or any color you really want. And then get your move tool. And move it right there. And if you want to, you can change your font right here to anything you want. You can change it to that. You can change it to that. And some of these are bigger than others, so you might have to resize your image, I mean your text, to fit the image itself. You can resize it to that, that. Uh, 
Oh, you can pick anything you want, really, guys. Um, I gotta find a good one right here. You can pick anything. Let's just do something like. Let's just do something like this right here. And see, it's not even, so you have to go back in your size and change that to like a. Try a. Uh, it's a 16 right now, so change it to like a 14. Even smaller. Uh, 12. I just now notice I effed it up, really, guys. So if you mess up, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Delete the text layer. Go back in there. Capitalize. MFL, like so, and get, take capitalize off. Go back and make that about a 14. 14. Even larger than that. Better 16, maybe. And you got it right there, guys. I mean, you can go more in detail if you want to and change it, maybe a little smaller. Something like that, but you know that's a general knowledge of how to make a you know a little thing for your YouTube channel. And then after you've done that, when you sh once you're done, you can go down here and then drag it to your desktop. And then, well, you could do that, or you could go to File, Export, and then um, export it into a JPEG, a JPEG. Go to base export, and it'll export right here as a JPEG, and best quality guys. So that's probably the best way to do it. So I will see you guys in my next video, and I'll have more Pixelmator tutorials out. So keep an eye on them, and comment rest of my videos. Thank you.